Honorable Minister of Prasad Mr. Ganesh, the Chief Guest of this function, Chief Coordinating Officer from the AICD, my good friend and well wisher of the state, Buddha Chand Shekhar Garu, and academician for excellence and academic administrator, the most dynamic we have seen in the recent times, uh, the Vice Chancellor of this university, Prasad Reddy Garu, Krishna Prasad Garu, Kavita Natarajan Garu, Distinguished Invitees, Awardees, Ladies and Gentlemen, Press and Media, a very good morning to all of you. I'm very glad I'm here. I'm with you this morning. In fact, uh, tomorrow we are celebrating State uh, Teacher Award function of Vijay Vada. But then, Buddha Chal Shekhar sir called me a couple of days back said, uh, you cannot miss this event, you should come here. And definitely, that's the one that prompted me to be here. And the next one is uh, being amidst all of you, the best teachers, celebrating their achievements. And spending some time with them obviously gives me a lot of happiness, immense happiness. And uh, for these two reasons, I came here in spite of uh, having a very busy program tomorrow. And of course, the third attraction for me is uh, Prasad Reddy Aru and Isandra University, the way it is shaping up. It always pulls me here uh, to come and see the latest happenings and latest studies. <laughs> so, pronounce to all of you, Ajnana Thimaranda said, Jnana Anjana Sarokiyam, Chaksur Milita Miena, that's my story, Guru Venamaha. From the ancient Indian, you know, tradition of respecting a teacher. I send you the teacher who removes the cataract of ignorance and shows him a vivid part. Quite obviously, all of you must be doing all this and therefore you are selected for this award. It's, it's not an easy job to become a teacher and uh, sensitize year after year batches of students. It's a special art for that matter. Today people are complaining on the lost tradition of respecting the teachers, but I always see a good teacher is always respected irrespective of the ages. We have seen a comfortable transformation from Gurukula to Shishyakula. But whatever it is, whatever is the age, we have seen Guru is always at the fulcrum. And the entire teaching learning process revolves around the teacher. And uh, I am glad uh, you are such distinguished teachers who inspired, sensitized number of students for so long. And uh, there is a saying, you go as far as your student go. So that is the greatest advantage a teacher has. If someone says, oh you are after all a teacher, just don't listen to that. You are in such a wonderful position where you know you can artistically mold the future of this country or any country for that matter. And we all are very resonant today in the classrooms lest because we, have, we all knew that very much we lose a fragile opportunity to shape tomorrow. And if tomorrow is going to be good, we should be good today, standing on the days in the classroom. And uh, what matters, you know, when, when you look at the ancient teachers and today's teacher, in fact, I keep saying this. Shavata in a Gurukula had a student. He sounds in for 10 years, he stays in the Gurukula for 10 years or more than that a decade. And he gets a doubt whether he, he has become a scholar to leave the, a scholar enough to leave the Guru. He asks the Guru, Guru, I am a scholar today, can I leave? Shamika tells him, Mannaru Chetikalam, Gandharu, Vikulam, Gandhartam, Vinnaru, Unadagana, Nirmaru, Petalotan, Uttamakoste. And he 
were subjected to all this and they put me as fault. Mannada or Chirintalam, Kannada or Pekkula in a Granda, it's all Telugu, I don't need to translate. Kannada or Pekkula in a Granda, 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 and therefore, quite obviously, you are a scholar. You can go. And this is the, you know, uh, uh, methodology. Right from age immemorial, Indian education system has been followed. And we continue to follow this. We subject people to various kinds of scenarios and we, 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 we make them learn through participation. In fact, Buddha Chandrasekhar Garu was talking about the internships, you know, he was rightly mentioning about theoretical knowledge and uh, scope for improving practical knowledge and, you know, bringing in practical understanding as well so that, you know, we, we expand the horizons of the students. I think we have done in the, on a mission mode today, Andhra Pradesh, uh, we made 10 months mandatory internship to our students. We all knew that, uh, you know, theoretically we are very strong, mathematically we are very good, logically we are good, and programming skills are, we are second to none. But at the same time, the practical learning for a student is, is, is something uh, which is bothering all of us, and therefore we got a 10 months of mandatory internship. And today, you see what is happening in Andhra Pradesh, entire government mechanism, right from chief secretary, to district collector, they are supporting the higher education institutions, showing the internships and we are going to celebrate 3.5 lakh internships maybe this month sometime, a couple of weeks later, Honorable Chief Minister will be launching it. So, we are making all our efforts, but, but you know, any number of, uh, you know, reforms that we may initiate, sitting at uh, the, the top offices, it's not going to be enough unless you resolve to take these reforms very strongly in your classrooms. Because time and time out we have seen curriculum has been designed. Number of times the universities keep changing the curriculum in the name of regulations, R13 regulation, R15 regulation, R16 regulation. And once in every two years, three years we keep changing the curriculum. Did we really make an effort or did we really uh, bring in a change in the classroom? That's a big question that we all needed to ask. Designing a curriculum is not enough. It needs to be delivered properly in a classroom. That is the biggest challenge we all have. And we all praise these teachers who have assembled here in the classroom, who have been identified as the best teachers. Because uh, you are still taking uh, that tradition forward and therefore, we have confidence today to, to plan such reforms and then take it further so that, you know, every child who walks into the portals of the institution with lot of his own aspirations, his, his family aspirations, you know, to come and realize their vision and then leave the portals of the institution. And one thing, if you ask me to make an appeal to all the teachers, I would only ask, them to remove the confusion from the student. No, it doesn't matter what you thought because ultimately my teachers taught me so many things including the Max Planck's equations and then partial differential equations, solutions towards them. All of that my teachers taught them. I don't remember basically when they actually taught me in the classroom. But I, what all I remember is how they made me feel in a classroom. Today if I look back 30 years back to my classroom, I don't remember all the concepts what they taught me, but I only remember how they made me feel. So this is going to stay for long. In fact, uh, remove those confusions from the students because after all at that age, all at that age, they carry me, even the ego is fully grown, they believe, you know, they know everything, but actually they don't know much. And, uh, you know, that dichotomy is always there at that age for the student. And uh, removing confusion from time to time is really important. In fact, let me narrate uh, a small incident uh, from Socrates, uh, uh, you know, life history. Uh, ultimately, uh, Athens uh, saw such a privileged scholar and at the same time, you know, he was dragged to the court. 
ultimately he was killed by administering poison. In the process of defending himself in the court of law, he chose to argue for himself. One of the allegations that was made on Socrates was that he was spoiling the youth of the country. And in fact, Socrates was part of his defense, uh, he, he informs the king. My lord, the youth of this country don't know what actually they don't know. They don't know what actually they don't know. They pose as if they know everything. And I just wanted to, you know, remove the confusion. I, I just wanted to educate them properly. I'm not a revolutionist. I'm not spoiling the kids of this country. And the king becomes very angry, shouts at Shokaris, says, you know, uh, uh, to uh, when, uh, decides to kill him there and then it's so that he pleads for time and uh, calls a soldier and asks him my dear soldier do you know what a squire is soldier says faithfully yes Socrates I know everything about squares now can you draw me one foot by one foot square here he, you know, as you know, he, he knows everything, he comfortably draws one foot by one foot square. So that is appreciates him and does him. Yes, my dear friend, you know how to draw a square and you know everything about squares. So you still believe that you know everything about squares. He says, yes, I know. He asks him, can you draw another square which is double the size of this? The soldier, you know, he is as if it's a very silly question, goes and draws a two feet by two feet square. Then Socrates explains to him, look my dear friend, you have drawn a square which is four times as bigger as compared to the previous square. He go by the area calculation, two by two is four square feet and this is one square feet. And he takes a piece of chalk and draws four one feet by one foot, one foot by one foot squares in that and convinces that yes, Yep. Uh, so then the soldier agrees. Yes, I have to know more about squats. This is the confusion that we as good teachers we need to remove. Vidya Isha Vaishopanishad Isha Vaishopanishad says this. Vidyancha Avidyancha Estad Vedo Bain Saha. Avidyam Rutil Vita Vidyam Rutamashva. Vidyancha Avidyancha, knowledge and ignorance. You learn them equally well for the simple reason that ignorance takes you to the shores of the death whereas knowledge gives you nectar. And this is the role a teacher is playing in a classroom whether he knows all the philosophy or not. He is comfortably playing this role in a classroom and therefore you are regarded as the best teachers. And the whole education system, India is being lauded as a young country with 55% of population in the young age group. Now, today we, the role of a teacher is, has become much more important. And these good teachers whom the Brain Ocean uh, identified to, to award here in the name of Bharat the Education Excellence Awards, you have a divine responsibility of propagating the art of teaching. All across the state of Andhra Pradesh, for that matter, across the country. So let us reunite, let us reach out our hands, let us build a wonderful human chain today so that the next generation will be in a safer hand. Next generation, it is all our responsibility because we also have our kids. We want them to be safe, we want them to learn proper things. And unless we reach out giant together, it's not going to be an easy task for all of us. So, I, I take this opportunity to appreciate Ganesh and his team, Brainovision, for uh, choosing uh, choosing to bring all the best teachers under one room. I'm quite surprised that they could make such a Herculean effort to bring 175 such people from other Pradesh. 175 such people from other Pradesh. And uh, I also appreciate uh, Brother Jan Shekhar Garu, Prasad Garu for uh, giving the leadership in the modern times. Uh, I, I congratulate all of you, not only the teachers, the educational administrators, the institutional owners, the training and placement officers, 
I see every one of you here. I think you all deserve a round of applause. My congratulations. Thanks for that.